guys welcome back to another vlog i definitely wasn't planning on vlogging today but as i was sitting here getting ready i was like you know what i want to vlog <laughs> so i'm just um like i said getting ready this morning i don't even know what time it is right now i think it's after 11 on saturday and i did work out this morning but you guys have seen me work out a lot lately in a lot of my vlogs and you kind of know my like routine if you guys are new i have been using the nike training club app and using just one of their programs on there this is my second time going through it and i've just been loving it so i'll link it down below if you guys are curious of my program and like my routine that I am doing. Oh yeah, did that this morning. There's a few things that I really want to get done today and this weekend. This is definitely going to be like a super productive weekend. Things that I want to just check off my list. I'm going to head over to Restoration Hardware. Ended up getting the reflection of this is kind of funny. Ended up getting a bunch of pillows from Restoration because I wanted to finish decorating Juan's couch and the ones from restoration are just like the ones that I was loving the most so I just decided to spend the money and get them however there was only like two that worked out out of like eight that I got and then I also got the wrong pillow insert like the wrong material so I exchanged them already but I just need to go um return all like this sort of stuff and then definitely want to try to finish off my shelves i'll show you my shelves in a second but if you guys have been following the journey for a while i have floating shelves over by my tv and they have just been sagging like two of them and so i've been needing to drill in new holes into like metal parts of the brackets and then try to find the stud in the wall and drill it into there too just so that it would sit more like flush up against the wall so Juan is here and he's going to help me finish that off. We made some good progress on it a few days ago, but there's a few more shelves that I wanted to finish and then drill a couple more holes into like one of the shelves as well. So I'm excited for that because it's just something that's been on my list for many months now. So it's just something that I'm finally excited to like check off. And also the most important, I can finally start decorating those shelves the way I want. So I've been doing like a ton of decor shopping. And while I've been doing decor shopping, I've been of course looking at new decor that I want to get for my whole house. Why? Why does that happen? <laughs> so I have lots of things that I want to do. We'll see what I end up um, actually getting. Like I want to do a complete refresh to my bedroom a few new things in the living room i want to decorate out on my patio as well enjoy the summertime so lots of fun stuff but i'm just gonna finish getting ready here and we'll see what's up next oh i did get a few like shorts from lululemon so after this i will um share that with you guys also, apologies if my face is super red. I kind of went overboard on the prescription hydroquinone to treat my melasma. And so my face is so red and kind of like sore too. So, <laughs> oopsies. <laughs> Should go away in a few days. But also because of that, my face is like peeling like crazy. So I've been trying to at least cover it up a little bit or what I can manage to cover up with the peeling skin. A little challenging, but just in case you guys are curious why my face is so red, I figured I would mention it. Okay, so I got three pairs of shorts and I'm just gonna try them on and show them to you this way. So the first pair that I got were these. These are brand new shorts. I haven't seen these before from Lululemon. They are the New Lux Waist High Rise Run Short. It's a four inch inseam. These, you guys, remind me so much of the Find Your Pace shorts, except for that they don't have like this flyaway part. You know, but like the waistband really reminds me of it and the fabric of it as well. Plus it's a little bit more high rise than the Find Your Pace, but these are just a super nice classic short that I'm just really obsessed with. I just feel like the fit is really good. Like, I don't know, overall. I should also mention that I did go true to size. So these are a size two and that is definitely what I would recommend with these. I actually did get them in the size zero and I couldn't even get them up like past my knees. So definitely go true to size for these shorts. Next up, I ended up getting another pair of step out shorts. So I shared these in, I think two Lululemon hauls from now. And it was like the pair that was 
kind of like nude but transparent that you could like layer over other bike shorts and stuff but i saw that the black pair that they had was not transparent at all and it was just like a solid color so i was really excited about them this i do go true to size two this was a size two but i would recommend sizing up on them if you don't want the waistband like super tight and snug but what i like about them is that this doesn't flare out at all it kind of just like really flows down it does taper up a little bit on the sides but the coverage in the back is like really 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 good there's also like a pocket right here but yeah really really love this option so last up is the la panel side short okay you guys i was so 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 excited to get this short this is one of like the new releases that i shared on my stories if you guys are new i do share my lululemon like top picks come release day release days are on tuesdays and i share it on my instagram stories every single week so you guys can see my top picks in real time before any hauls or anything like that but this is one of the pairs that i shared and i was like oh my god like i've been waiting for them to come out with a pair of shorts just like this so you guys know what's coming my hugest disappointment i am so upset that these don't work out like let's go over the positives okay like love the fabric it is kind of like on the thicker side it's not like super soft but it's like super super stretchy just really like effortless i think it's like a four or three inch inseam so really good length of them the color it's white opal so it's my favorite color ever right now from lululemon i did size down in these so definitely recommend sizing down if you did want to try these out for yourself the pockets on these are towards the front which i think is kind of strange but you guys there is so much excess fabric in the crotch it's unreal it's not like comfy at all it kind of feels like you're wearing a diaper and then i don't even know if i can show it on but it's like a weird situation happening in the back right here too it's like a reverse camel toe or something i don't even understand and there's like the triangle gusset that they would normally put in the leggings that is in the center of this too that's just making it like super uncomfortable so i'll show it to you when i take them off what i mean but yeah i <laughs> i was really wanting to love them so much hmm. so this is the triangle gusset that i was talking about like they could have 100 percent done without this and had a normal seam and it would have been so much more comfortable especially because as you can see like that part of it is more towards the back and the butt and i think that's what's causing like excess fabric and for it to look really really weird i'm so mad about that because these would have been perfect if it wasn't for like this situation made it to restoration and did the returns that was, I should have recorded Juan carrying the box because it was really, really funny. We had to walk a bit with the box and it was heavy. <laughs> There's nothing like really in particular that we want to look at. Um, I'm actually looking at replacing my dresser and nightstand. So we'll see if they have the one here that I like, but otherwise it's always just nice to take a look around and see what they have here. I've always been so obsessed with this painting. I would buy this in a heartbeat if it wasn't like five thousand dollars i think it is oh well four thousand but still too much additionally i've always just been super obsessed with this bedroom loved like the tones of like the white mixed with the black super freaking pretty i really wish that they had more dresser options in store there's like a few ones that i'm like looking at but they don't have them in the store are you breaking stuff no, but it's funny because it cuts the pipe. Yeah. Yeah. Normal. Yeah, that's normal. Normal for what? For any vanity that you look at, no. they always have a cutout for that. It's actually pretty smart. These ones are, yeah, fixed. It's probably going to the outlet. <laughs> are the chairs just super sexy? Uh. The chairs are super sexy. Those are the chairs that we just got at Juan's house, which I ended up sharing on my stories, but I haven't yet shared in a vlog. They just came. And I don't know if I'm gonna be at Juan's today, but if I do, I'll make sure I am sharing them with you so you can see them. This is the bookcases that we're looking at for Juan's like little study area, this exact one. 
love them in this color. It's a little bit later. We are back home and we are about to start on the shelves I was talking about earlier. So I'll spin you around and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So these bad boys, these are floating shelves that I've had, I don't even know, put up here for at least four months or so. And I just have never styled them yet because some of them are sagging a little bit. These ones were the worst offenders, but they are already doing a lot better. I have one here to help me. I'll show you, there's like a bracket that this sits on and we are drilling new holes into the metal um, so that I could align it with studs and such. So yes, I'm very excited to finally finish this off so that I can get these styled and obviously just move on with my life too. <laughs> So this is the bracket that I was referring to that was like under the actual shelf itself. So for this one, it's a good example. I don't even know if this is interesting to you guys, but this took a lot of uh, research to see how to drill through metal. So these little holes right there too are the ones that we did ourselves, but these like larger ones already came in it. But this is where the stud is in the wall. And then... Um, the anchors that are pre-existing in the wall with these other holes, they're like plastic and kind of shitty. So we're just going to put two additional holes on the end here with like metal anchors. They help a lot better. But anyways, I guess <laughs> now that I'm even talking about it, we just use cobalt drill bits because that's what helps to cut through steel and like metal. And then also you want to use some sort of oil or lubricant on the drill bit in between the metal too because it helps to save the drill bit from breaking and just like preserves like the life of it too though. So anyways, that's a little backstory. <laughs> We're just going to get to it. Nice. He's the muscle on this one. For some reason, it just kept stalling on me and I just couldn't do it. Ah, <laughs> here are the finished shelves. They look so freaking good. I'm so happy that it finally turned out. I was starting to stress that it just wasn't gonna work out at all. I have a little bit of decor on here, but none of this is gonna stay. It's probably gonna be changed or moved around. And I did just order like a ton of new decor as well. Plus a lot of decor that I still want to buy. Like I said earlier, there's just like a lot of things that I <laughs> wanna do around the house now. It's like, I just wanna refresh things a little bit more. But Juan did leave and I'm gonna pack up to go over there and stay over there tonight. Just works out better for a few things that we have planned for tomorrow. But there is something else that I decided to do before he left. <laughs> Things are definitely still a huge mess, but if you guys remember how my bedroom was laid up before, I was so bad I didn't take any before footage, but I decided to move things around a little bit. So we'll see how long this stays. And like I said, I just moved everything. So apologize for like the mess of it all. Um, but my bed was right here. 
before and the dresser was over on this side and that's why that painting is there because that was um, above the bed. Um, I'm actually going to get rid of that. If anyone's interested in it, let me know and if you're local. But um, I'm going to get something else to put like above the bed. That is if this is the way that I want to keep it. The only issue is this part right here. If only this room was like a foot wider, this wouldn't be an issue. Some of these drawers, like they do open up but <laughs> and there's all my sweatpants and i can grab stuff i just can't stand in front of the dresser to grab things but i don't know i feel like that's gonna be fine you can't win them all you know there's gonna definitely be give and takes to moving things around not everything is gonna be perfect so i don't know let's try this out for a little bit see how i feel about it i just really wanted like my dresser in front of my bed and there was like a few areas of my room that i absolutely hated so i just figured this might work a little bit better and then I have like more space like right here in front of my closet too but like I was saying at the very beginning I definitely want to like redo my bedroom a little bit but anyways I'm just gonna go ahead and continue packing up for Juan's and yeah I'm just gonna head over there oh there's one right here just got to Juan's house babe he's playing a video game I'm not gonna get his attention right now but we need to decide what hi hi what do you want to have for dinner? Do you want dinner at all? No, that's what I was thinking that you were going to say. I think tonight's dinner is going to be cereal <laughs> for me. I'm still kind of full from lunch, are you? Super full. Yeah. I was thinking that on the way here. I was like, I'm surprisingly not that hungry for it being 9 p.m., you know? So I think it's going to be cereal kind of night. I think I have Lucky Charms here. Do I? Uh... The, oh, you don't think so? No. I think so. We bought okay. a box. Okay. Unless I took it home, but I don't think I did. I am so tired. I was also thinking on the way over here how much we actually did today. <laughs> I feel like we did so much. I mean, we went out and about, returned all that stuff to Restoration Hardware, hung up the shelves, rearranged my bedroom, and then a lot of other things like in between i also realized what i'm wearing is three different shades of gray <laughs> that's how tired i am i don't even care <laughs> oh and i worked out this morning too yeah it's a exhausting day i feel like the workout is like settling in of how like tired i truly am so let's cross our fingers that it's gonna be like an early night we're gonna have dinner and then go to bed because as you guys know, I've been having like an issue with getting to sleep at like a reasonable hour. I haven't been falling asleep until between midnight and 1 a.m. And then I get up at like 8, sometimes 9. If I can, I push it. It's not enough. Let's be fair. I feel like it's probably enough, but like I feel like I want to get up earlier and go to sleep earlier. So it's like I just want to rotate it a bit, especially if I'm gonna be going back to the office soon. I think my team made an announcement that we're probably gonna have to start heading back to the office in the next month or so. Oh, no. So my brain is definitely like on that a lot more. I wish I could just like stay working from home full time, but um, not gonna be the case. So yeah, I need to readjust my sleeping schedule to accommodate that coming up, you know? Let's go see if there is Lucky Charms. Oh my God, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Ah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. A massive family size box and it's unopened. I knew it. I just knew it. All right, let's pull, pull? Let's pour myself a bowl of this. And then maybe I'll go upstairs and like watch a show or something because I'm not gonna sit here and watch and play video games. That's the most unexciting thing ever. Ooh, I was just thinking maybe I can watch Love Island UK. I was watching that um, yesterday and the day before. I started at like 11 p.m. I know, I told you guys my sleep schedule was really weird. Oh, wow, so I started at 11 p.m., wow. watched an episode, loved it, and then yesterday I watched like a few more episodes, so that's what we're gonna do. Ah, I'm so excited! You guys know that this is like my favorite, one of my favorite things to do i'm like i'm so weird <laughs> but um, one of my favorite things yeah, to do I'm is to have like a good meal and yes lucky charms is a good meal <laughs> and sit down and like watch just a show that i'm looking forward to like that is just like the best combo it makes me so happy so happy i love it okay let's do that 
What are you doing, babe? Just pour myself some cereal. And then if you're gonna continue to play that, I'm just gonna go upstairs and watch like a show. Something smells in your refrigerator, I think. Like chicken? I don't, maybe. I just got a whiff of something like closing, opening and closing at the door. I can't talk. Okay, bye bye. I'll be upstairs now, so. You'll be upstairs now? But it's so niche. Oh, because I'm gonna watch a show and then you're gonna come up and wanna change it. What show? Love Island? No! <laughs> Babe, stop ruining my happiness! <laughs> I'm gonna go. Bye. <laughs> oh, happiness. Are you guys watching Love Island? Let me know down below if you guys even watch it and if you like it. I know Love Island US is on. My favorite is just the OG. The UK version is just by far the best. I watched it on Hulu. They upload like, I don't even know, like 15 episodes at once, like at a time. But I think that this is like live, like going on. So I think that's what they end up doing. So you're a little delayed, I think. But anyways, let me know if you guys watch Love Island. We can stay updated with each other. Let me know who's your favorite too. I'm still at like the very beginning, episode five. And I think, like I said, they're up to episode 15 right now. So I'm still getting into it and getting to know everyone at the moment. I don't have any like real true people that I love and hate just yet or couples that I think like are really good together either. So we'll see. We'll see in a few episodes once I start learning a little bit more about everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Baby, you're gonna walk by and I didn't say good morning to the people. Who's the people? Oh, you have to see. <laughs> Still no? Good morning. So we are getting ready to head off to Ikea. And then afterwards, we're gonna go over to my dad's house for lunch. He just had surgery, what, three weeks ago, babe? Yeah. On his spine. And he got out of the hospital and out of the physical therapy place and he's back home and they are Throughout all of that they weren't allowing visitors, which was so hard for me um, But now that he's home we are gonna go get together Just check on him see how he's doing with everything and enjoy lunch and just spending time with him So I'm really really looking forward to that Just packing up everything in my purse right now to head on out Oh, actually, let me show you the dining room chairs now that I'm at Juan's house. Ta-da! Here they are. Ah, I cannot believe it. I posted these over on my Instagram stories as soon as they came. We've been waiting, I think, four or five months for these chairs to come. And yeah, they finally came. I don't remember the exact name of them, unless you do, Juan. I think they're like Edison or something yeah. with an E name. But I love these chairs, and we got it in the performance fabric, so they um, will be easy to clean and take care of and stuff like that. Well, at least we hope so, because obviously a bold choice to go with white chairs. But yes, they just came this last week, so we finally have some chairs for this dining room table. Next up, we definitely need to get a rug for this space. So um, I have one coming. It's a seven by 10, actually, and we'll see how we like that's rug size for this space and what else we might end up like changing about it. So at Ikea, what's on my list is, I think at the beginning of this video I was talking about how I wanna focus on kind of finishing up my patio. <laughs> I've lived there for how many years and I haven't done anything on my patio. That's for another day. But um, I got like, um, a bistro set last summer wooden table two chairs and i want to get cushions for it and there's these cushions at ikea that would fit perfectly and it's really inexpensive too but then i also want to look at getting like the interlocking deck tiles for my balcony as well is there anything that you in particular want to look at at ikea so we're we just gonna like go in and out then, get the things, ah. and go. 
I like to walk around. Okay, so you do want to like walk around and look around. I don't know. Okay, great. I think we definitely have the time for it because we don't have to be at my dad's until noon. So we have an hour and a half. And it takes, we'll be there in 13 minutes. Oh, so great. So great. I'm so sick of waiting and getting too restless to be in this dusty town. Forget and you get another try. So come open up my door. I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by. I won't see your face. <sighs> Just got home and brought everything upstairs. And I'm out of breath and I'm sweaty and I'm tired. It's like 80 degrees outside and I was like wearing jeans because I just got back from taking Instagram pictures and of course being at my dad's. So yeah, I did my whole dad thing. He's doing really good. So that makes me very happy to see. Whew. And then went back to Juan's house, packed everything up, did my makeup and then went and took some Instagram pictures. And then I just got home and I'm really excited to be home just so that I could get a little bit more organized on this Sunday evening in preparation for this next week. So I have tons of things that I need to clean up and stuff. So that's pretty much what I'm going to be spending the rest of the day doing. I did come home to a few packages. So let's go ahead and open that up. But first, let me show you the things that I did end up picking up from Ikea. So I got this cute little cutting board. I thought it'd be... I don't know cute for like small serving or a little bit of cheese i don't know i just thought it was like the cutest little thing so i decided to get it and then i did end up getting the cushions that i was talking about for the chairs outside and then i got tons of flooring for on my patio too this is what it's going to look like i'm going to see about doing my patio tonight i'm a little bit antsy and i want to see if it's gonna work or not so yes and then as far as the packages go let's see i ordered a few things from amazon i wanted to get some more books oh, for my shelf but now seeing how heavy this book is i don't know if it's gonna work i think it's too heavy but I saw that Amazon had this for, I think, $70, and everywhere else is selling it for $100, and it was sold out for the longest time, so I definitely needed to pick it up. And then I also got this book, too. I think I got another one. I don't know where it's at. Um, let's open this, because I'm excited. I want to see what the spine uh, looks like, like, without the cover, but I like this publisher. They make really nice books. Ooh, you guys, it's white. Oh, I love that. The little things that get you super excited, right? It's just like an interior design sort of picture book. I think it's really pretty. Ooh, okay, let's see if we can get that to work. I do have a few other books already, so maybe I can try to... Hmm. I just need at least one book. One other book. Okay, let's figure that out. And then I got... Pillows from Target. I think that's what this is. Let me get it out of the packaging and put it in the insert into the pillowcase and then I'll show you what it looks like. I ordered these for Juan's house and I really like them so I wanted to see if I can make them work for my house too. Here it is. I'll most likely get a better quality insert for it. I'm not a huge fan of it but the material is the really soft like what's it called chenille fabric. Oh, I love it. And I love that it's a little bit more creamy than this one. I hate these pillows. I actually want to switch out all my pillows. I have like a special order one coming from Restoration. So those are going to go. But I wanted potentially this one mixed with the new one. And I like that it's a little bit bigger too. I don't know. We'll see. But super cute. Okay, it wasn't in me to end a vlog without finishing a project. I feel like I had to show you. So I just came out here and whipped this together really fast. I think this took me like 15 minutes. It's actually really easy. I just have to figure out the door situation because the door doesn't open with that. So I might have to cut the door like a little bit higher and then put like weather stripping um, down there. That's what I'm thinking so that I can give the clearance to open the door but anyways this is what it looks like now with the cute little cushions on my little table now i just need to get lights to hang up out here and i think that that would be really cute especially at night eee! 
I can't believe it's already after 8 p.m. But I've moved on to cleaning my bedroom. And I'm going to watch some YouTube while I do that. Just need to unpack everything that I took over to Wands. And then also just a few other things. Because I literally moved my bedroom around and then ran over to Wands' house. So I didn't even have any time to like reorganize and put everything away. So I definitely want to do that tonight before I go to bed. So I kind of just threw everything on my bed that I needed to take care of. Or I guess the pile of shoes on the floor too that I need to take care of. But after this, I am going to just sit down and maybe watch some more love island maybe still watch youtube videos not exactly sure but i definitely want it to be relaxing and i want to try to go to bed early let's try not gonna happen but i'm probably also gonna have leftover indian food for dinner but anyways i really hope that you guys liked this weekend vlog in my life i'm so glad that i decided to pick up the camera and just vlog this weekend it was just a really fun productive weekends i do have my nordstrom anniversary sale haul coming everything was supposed to be here last thursday because i paid for shipping like express shipping for everything to get here so that i can put that video up like as soon as possible but things are arriving tomorrow so i mean as soon as everything comes in i'm gonna put the video up as soon as possible so i'm not gonna stick to my normal tuesday friday upload video for that because i want you to be able to see everything and still have time to purchase things i know a lot of things are out of stock but things are coming in and out of stock so frequently too i've been able to get my hands on a few things that i wasn't able to get as well but anyways i'll make sure that the video is up as soon as possible just in case you guys were curious but anyway i hope you guys have a great day and i'll just see you guys in a couple of days in my next video bye guys love you